Howdy folks, TJ here. On Friday, I let a lot of my babies go, and I have a big old long receipt that uh, basically says I shipped a whole bunch of things. I showed you the back of the receipt because there's information on there I probably don't want people to see. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so my little story so far, uh, Invasion of the Cloud People, The Next Storm, Cloud Popples, I uh, alerted... Uh, 10 people that their packages were ready to ship. I collected funds. I didn't collect any funds until basically I was ready to ship. And that's the way I'm going to continue rolling this thing out. But happy to say 11 total copies, uh, 10 different, no, uh, is it 10 different? Be nine. Uh, yeah, I think 10 people, <laughs> something like that. Uh, 10 people, 11 packages that I shipped out that had my physical game. One person's already received it. Casey Nidal received his on Saturday. He actually already did a review of it, an unboxing and a quick play. I'll put the link down below. If you're not familiar with Casey, he is one of the supreme captains of my game. Uh, one of the only three people that I know of, me, him, and one other person that have proof that uh, they've won the game. Uh, and now there's a whole bunch of other people that are about to receive a physical copy. Only a small portion. There's a total of 54 of these that I've made. Uh, 50 that I'll be shipping. Well, 50 that were to be shipping, and I've now shipped uh, uh, 10, 11 packages or whatever. So I've got uh, quite a few more to go. Roughly around 40. Lots of videos I still need to make. This is going to be kind of a slow rollout. I do it as I find the time. Uh, this week's a busy one for me, so I thought I'd just chat about what's coming up in this week. I've got some other things I need to get done. Our oven stove went out. I need to fix it. Uh, I've got the part, and I'm hoping on Friday or Saturday I can get in there and pull out said oven and try to fix it myself. If not, I have to pay somebody to come over and do it. We'll see how that all pans out. Uh, and then I've got to go to the dumps. Uh, Barry, uh, our local bear, I call him Barry, uh, came around and has been getting into our trash cans. Uh, left some good footprints uh, this time around. It just rained and he went through the trash cans and knocked shit all over the place, uh, put trash all over the place, and I took a picture. Maybe I'll put a picture someplace on the screen right now that shows you Barry's feet and my feet. Uh, so maybe it's time to go to the dumps, even though uh, not all the trash cans are full yet. I like to go when it's full, uh, but Barry's been coming around, so maybe I'll just make an impromptu run to take recyclables in. We've got tons of cardboard, plastics, uh, aluminum, all that stuff that we've got to recycle, and it's all at one place. So I've got a busy weekend, which means no fun Friday for me. I've got to get shit done, and I won't be able to make videos and do all that. Maybe during this week, I'll try to make a couple, uh, but it's going to be slow. Uh, don't expect your deliveries tomorrow, uh, but I'm slowly working them out. Once I get it shipped, it was pretty quick. So I shipped them on Friday. One person's already received them. I know some other people, they're... Uh, estimated delivery was today. Uh, so you may be receiving a package today, tomorrow. And I think the worst one was Wednesday. They were back in like New York or something. So everybody should be receiving them. I don't know how many, if any, will make uh, unboxing videos or play videos. Most people don't do that kind of thing. Not everybody's got a YouTube channel. But I'm excited to say that I made the initial run. I went to the post office shipped, uh, you know, I brought this big old, and I'll maybe show a picture now of me carrying a whole bunch of boxes into the postal service. Most of them were priority mail. There were three going regular UPS Advantage, which is a little cheaper, but slower, uh, and um, probably a little bit more beating up by the time they get it there. You know how grounds can be. But anyway, I'm, I'm a little nervous because you've got packages shipping out to everybody. You worry that they either not receive them or they receive them, and a, a fat elephant sat on them. Uh, and it, that fat elephant's name is Lou from Postal Service. <laughs> Nothing against fat, because look at me. <laughs> I'm allowed to make funny jokes. Uh, but anyway, no, most people at U USPS are probably lean because they're overworked, underpaid. Well, I don't know about the pay, but uh, they're probably overworked for sure. But anyway, is, do they get squished on their way there? Do they arrive... Do they work? Do people plug them into their next or end go and everything work fine? So there's a little nervousness that I'm running through right now on this initial United States batch. In the United States, there was a total of 17 people out of the 54 copies 
that uh, were in the U.S., which is a pretty good number. Uh, not too shabby for United States, 17. Then I've got 25 from the U.K., and then the remaining balance is other countries. Uh, anybody outside of USA is going to be a little bit of time before I get to. I want to see how the United States pans out. I just shipped my first batch. Want to make sure everything goes okay. I'm going to ask some people, hey, have you plugged it into your next? Did it work okay? I just want to get some data back that everything's good or no, it, there's a problem. And I want to know that now because with the UK, you've got considerably more expensive shipping, more timely to get there, uh, or slow, I should say. Uh, so there's, I want to make sure everything's mostly ironed out. And then if for some reason somebody gets something that doesn't work, I'm sure digitally, electronically, we can figure out things. But I want things to just work out, arrive, put them in, people play them. I don't know if everybody even has a next. <laughs> Maybe they're just ordering it because they want a physical copy to put up on their shelf for a future time. But anyway, the nervous uh, initial stages of, hey, I've shipped the first 11... How's everything going to pan out? I know one person's received it, and it seems like everything cruised through and worked fine. So that's a good sign so far. But now I've got another 10 to go, and I want to see how things ripple out. Once I uh, and So I've got six more to go that I've got to make for the United States. So maybe that will happen in the next one to two weeks. Uh, hopefully I can start you know working some videos. But like I said, this whole week is kind of a crapshoot. I've, I've got to work for a living, and then normally I like to do my fun stuff on Friday, computer-wise. But Friday, I've got an oven to fix, so I don't think that's going to happen. And then Saturday, I've got to go to the dumps. And then I think we've got to do grocery shopping in the mix. So, yeah, this whole week's going to be shot. So I may not be do too much video stuff. But anyway, if you're one of the uh, people that I just sent it to, you know because you paid me and I kind of said, hey, it's going to be shipping Friday. Hopefully, you get it soon. Hopefully, you have an opportunity to unbox everything if you do make a video, wonderful. It would be great to see what your uh, your thoughts and feelings are of what it is you received compared to what my uh, video said that you were going to get and that you actually have it next and maybe try it. That would be uber cool. I'm about to sneeze. I'm not crying. <laughs> I surprised 11 of my babies. Uh, but anyway, hopefully everything goes good. So continuing on, uh, we'll go through and, and make another six here in the very near future. I've got some other videos I want to make this week. Everything behind me may look a little bit different. I've been working on my back desk here, and we're modifying things. This big main gear was normally down on the floor. This is a Linux computer from 2014, a main gear shift. Uh, and I put a little, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, you know, these things, they little drawers. <laughs> a file cabinet, file cabinet. And I put that on there because behind me, I've been working on my... Mac Pro 2013, not a trash can, but a nuclear reactor setup. I'm trying to make my new video editing area uh, cleaner, more uh, vibrant. And if you notice, my Next is still there. So that screen is going to be shared with my Mac Pro and the Next. I've got an Apple 27-inch Thunderbolt display there. I've got a Blackmagic eGPU there. My Mac Pro there. My uh, little uh, dock for my iPad there. I'm making this a whole corner video editing station, kind of my dream setup, that if this was purchased back in 2014 when the Mac Pro came out, well, they call it late 2013, this would have been probably uh, $12,000, $13,000. <laughs> I didn't spend that kind of money on it, but yeah, back then, that Mac Pro would have been an enormous amount of money uh, and then all these other screens and all that shit, it all adds up. But I'm making a dream computer setup, but 10 years old, uh, that it just makes you feel good when you use it. And I'm going to be exploring it, making more videos about that. I also did a little purchasing over the, uh, did I do it on Friday? I think I did it on Friday. I purchased another projector. I now have four projectors. I'm going to sneeze. And I want to make a video. Uh, it's too late to do an unboxing video. Maybe I'll do a pseudo unboxing video. But I wanted a brighter, little bit more modern projector that I can have movie nights with, but also play video games. And it'd be a little brighter, so maybe I could use it during the day. So you uh, keep your eyes peeled. I've got a new uh, projector that I just received. Nothing too expensive. But right now you can get 1080p projectors that are pretty decent. 
uh, and a step above what I had, uh, and we'll make a video about that. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, I just wanted to say, welcome to the weekend. It's Monday. Here's my Monday video. I don't know what videos I'll accomplish during the week, but I've got a busy work week ahead of me. And anyway, thanks for watching. If you did receive today, tomorrow, or Wednesday, uh, one of the physical editions, make a video. Uh, or just let me know that it arrived and everything's good. If you make a video, don't show any address information on there. You know how some weirdos are out there on the internet? Kind of like me. You don't want that address out there. So if you make a video, hide that. You know, some people don't realize that's something you need to do. Uh, but you should. You don't want people to know your friend's addresses or your <laughs> address or any of that stuff. So hide it. But I'd love to see some feedback of what you received. Is it crap? Is it okay? Is it really good? Whatever it is, it's always nice to kind of hear back. I'm a novice programmer. This was just the novice uh, games that I made, but I think I made a really fun physical edition with everything I could throw in in the kitchen sink and some ice cream and a steak too that just made it a fun thing that you could put up on your shelf and say, hey, this dude back in 2024 made 54 physical editions of his uh, conglomeration of up-to-date what he had made and created, and I'm happy to own one And because it's probably a one-time thing. I tell you, this was a lot more work than expected. I still have a lot more work to do. I've got videos. I've already made, like I said, 10, 11 videos, so I've got another 40 videos personalized. Not many people do something like this, that each and every set comes with a unique video for that. And a lot of extra work involved, but that's the way I planned it out, and that's the way I did it. So this may be a one-time thing. I don't know if I'll ever make another game again. I think I will. I've got a great idea for one, but like I said, life is busy, and you do what you can with the time allotted, and I got shit to do. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have a great week. Bye.